This is the beginnings of an important social movement. Physicians are highly motivated and it's highly frustrating for them to not be able to deliver what they came into this profession for. And we've got a decreasing morale in that workforce. Something's not right. This is actually an experience and that experience is meant to be hugely transformative. Uh, we've got some superb faculty. You know, we've got uh, Chip Shuba, and as Chip says, if, you know, if you can't change things if you don't change yourself. Danny Friedland is uh, another physician, and his basis is um, all about the neuroscience aspects of this. And he's very much the scientist, and part of his notoriety is all around evidence-based medicine. Dan Diamond, a uh, family physician, when Hurricane Katrina came through, when he was looking after the convention center in New Orleans as all of that flood of people. And what Dan realized is that there's certain attributes that people who are doing well in disasters seem to have. So how do we emulate those characteristics and those attributes and uh, incorporate them into our daily lives. We've got uh, Don Kennedy and he's gone on and done a master's degree and a PhD in leadership but he's, that guy's been surfing since he was a little guy and he's still surfing and um, he's got this great way of bringing nature together and all of what nature helps us understand and learn so the four of them collectively as you can tell sort of come at it from different ways but the uh, the overall uh, experience, I think, will be terrific as a result. So if I'm on the fence on something, uh, what am I going to miss by not doing it? That's the question. And for this one, you're going to miss a ton of good stuff, and you're going to miss a moment to transform your life. If you don't take it, you lose twice. You feel yucky because you didn't do it and you missed the moment to grow.